What is up YouTube and today we're gonna be talking about the level 5 of the new science to learn how to actually beat this without actually having Shao Tier. Now if you guys didn't know, having Shao Tier on your team will actually make your runs a lot easier mostly because she gives you a lot more uh, speed on your irons which will make it so that the death sentence will actually also um, you know make it faster. But without Shaltir, is this possible? Because level 5 is pretty hard compared to the last side story. I think this side story is a lot harder. And without Shaltir, you're going to be actually, one, taking a lot longer to kill the boss. And two, you're going to notice that your allies do less damage against the boss. And it is possible, it just takes a lot longer. I'm mostly making this video if you guys weren't lucky enough to pull Shaltir. As you guys can see, I actually did try to pull for Shaltir and I actually couldn't. I didn't actually have enough bookmarks to pity her. I'm pretty much sucked dry, so I'll have to wait for the next arena reset and I'll most likely be able to get her. Uh, mostly because I pulled for so many copies of Albedo's artifacts because I think it's pretty strong. You can see I have, what, 8 copies of it, so uh, yeah, that's why I'm out of bookmarks. And if you didn't get lucky and actually pull for her, it's not the end of the world. You can actually clear it with the team I'm about to show you and actually farm with it. Obviously, level 5 stage will take a long time. But the level 4 stages should clear within between like 2 minutes and 3 minutes, which still takes a while, but honestly it's better than nothing, right? But yeah, this is the team that we're using. We have Irons in the front line surrounded by 3 damage dealers, no healer. And that's mostly because if you have a Ranger on Bloodstone, which my Landy is on, you'll actually be able to sustain the damage. Also because Irons has a barrier, if you put him on a high health build, you actually don't need any healing at all, even for level 5. And like I mentioned, this isn't the best team or the fastest team. It's just the most, I'd say, accessible for newer players. You have Mercedes and Bomb on Okana. If you guys don't have Landy, you can actually replace her with anything that has AoE damage, right? Such as Vildred, and then put your Bloodstone on Bomb on Okana. But this is going to be probably the safest team for uh, people that don't have Shaltir. If you have Shaltir, obviously just slaughter in, and the boss is a lot easier to take down. But if you don't have Shaltir and you ran out of bookmarks because you pulled on the Albedo banner for a lot of um, copies of the artifact that I did, then you can actually run this team. So this is Ainz in the front. We have him on his artifact to actually get more currency. This isn't the best for this boss, but it just gives you more mats. All you really need is 65% effectiveness to make sure you actually can land your debuff all the time. At least like 250 speed to cycle fast enough to get a lot of your S3s off. And then the rest into bulk. You can see mine's at 20k HP, 1400 defense. Um, something around this is nice because of the fact that his passive will actually give a barrier to your entire team that will scale with his health. And this barrier is very, very, very good, especially if you're on a high health build. It's a lot better than I expected, actually. So I actually test him out in the front line. He can soak a lot of damage. He can keep your team up with that barrier and sustain. Makes him very good. Next, let's actually look at the other units on this team. So first off, we have Mercedes. She's going to be one of the main damage dealers. Just put her on full damage. You don't need too much bulk on her, honestly. This is what I, what I have her at, and she never even uses her uh, revive passive. But she's very good because she has all AoE attacks. And the boss is pretty much permanently in stealth. So because of this, you want a unit that has a lot of AoE to actually hit the boss as well as kill the ad so you can actually single target the boss down. Another unit that you're going to want to use if you have ability to use her is Bomb Model Kana. She's very strong. Um, you just need damage on her as well. Landy on Bloodstone, or if you have her on Bloodstone, should be able to sustain the team with Ainz's Barrier. And I'm not even you know fully enhanced on mine, but she's still very powerful. She does a lot of damage. She has attack buff for herself. She also actually has a speed buff for all her allies, so you can cycle faster to get more um, turns off to activate death sentence, which makes her very strong. Then we have the main healer of the team, which is funny, and that's going to be Landy. Landy won't be doing the most damage. Uh, actually, I'm not even max crit on her, I didn't even notice, but okay, it worked out. Uh, you definitely want max crit because she doesn't get a bonus anywhere. But Bloodstone, if you have this artifact, very, very good. It makes your rangers heal your team. Landy is the best user of it because she actually hits the hardest because of her S1 being single target, scaling very well with this S2 passive, and on pen set, she hits super hard with it so she can sustain your team very easily. Also, she has some AoE damage in her S3 while pushing your team up, albeit the boss does have stigma, which can make it not work, and this will also give your team speed buffs. So you'll permanently have speed buff with this team, you'll be able to cycle very fast, your Ainz will get a lot of S3s off, and you know, you'll know you eventually be able to take down the boss, and you should be able to farm this pretty easily. Now, if you don't have Landy and your team is dying, what you can actually do instead then is actually use a unit such as, not a mage, but a soul Eaver, Mascot Hazel, right? So you can do this, Mascot Hazel will put greater attack buff on your entire team. Very, very nice, she can sustain your team up. And then what you can actually do is switch something like this and put Ainz on a damage heavy build. He actually does pretty decent damage, so you don't actually lack the damage to you know kill the crystal in time before it heals. And because of that, you'll actually be able to take down the boss this way. That's one team as well, but of course, this is the team that I use. 
Uh, and this one, I feel like it's a little bit faster, but the Ainz one with Mask on Hazel is more safer. And the reason why you want a lot of AoE damage is because, like I said, the boss is, where's this passive here? Going to be permanently stealthed with Dark Curtain until his ad dies. You can see it cannot be selected as a target. And what you want to do is kill this ad. And this ad should be pretty easy to kill. You just AoE it down with your damage and you put Death Sense on it once or twice and it should just fall. Then after that, you just can wail on the boss. But honestly, with this team comp, it doesn't really matter because you're hitting the boss anyways. Uh, the main reason why you want to kill this crystal fast is so your Ions can actually Death Sense the boss. Uh, one Death Sense will kill on level 4 or lower. On level 5, a Death Sense doesn't kill this. So what you want to do is actually probably manual it and save your Death Sense for the boss after. Uh, so you don't waste it or, you know, just YOLO it and auto it like I did. And hopefully your AoE damage should be able to take it down. Yeah, this is the boss fight uh, team composition. Let me know in the comments down below what teams you're using for farming. I have one without Shout Tier because I don't have her yet. If you guys are using one with Shout Tier, I want to know what the fastest team comp is so I can showcase it. And I'm very appreciative if you would do that for me. So yeah, we'll show you guys the fight and how easy it goes. I full auto level 5, pretty easy peasy. Uh, and you'll see that it's not that bad of a team comp, honestly. Beyond the abyss to the ends of futility. Bombs away! Oops! 
Did I forget to ask first? Get moving! So weak! Blaze! Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> Obey me. Obey me. Uh. Obey me. Obey me. Kasai seyo! Omae ni shi o hakonde kita mono ni! Go get him! Here I go! Aha! Koi! Let me help you. I guess it's Nana's turn! Here comes the Grand 